Um, well, back freshman year, there was uh, the station manager back then had said at one of the general meetings that they wanted to get some new programming and original programming on, tel on the, the television station. And we had a lot of sports shows at the time, and we had just uh, really it was either news or sports. There was nothing else, and I'd always been into politics for quite some time and throughout high school and everything. Um, and, and so I, I thought, well, maybe the best way for me to learn how much I love television and or hate it, go back to that, uh, was to start a show of my own and really to go back and, and start from scratch, start with a concept, work my way through production, the pre-production, and, and ultimately put a show on air. All right, welcome back to Face the Campus, everyone. This is Zach Steinmetz. We had a, two Democratic uh, views here tonight, so we're trading on and off. And Zach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I would have to say my most memorable experience from the television station and comm department in general uh, was election night. The, what we pulled off for four hours of broadcasting, the fact that we had spent weeks preparing graphics, the, the rundown, I think it was 11 pages, 11 or 12 pages of a rundown. It was just, mo it was monumental, I think, what we did. And, uh, alumni had told me before that that was the largest uh, broadcast that we had ever produced here at that, whether it was TV5, WCUB, or CUTV. Officially here, uh, several, uh, NB NBC has reported it right now that President Obama has won re-election. CNN and CBS as well, they have all reported that President Obama has won re-election and will win a second term as President of the United States. Mike Friend has some numbers right now. Mike joins us uh, here in the studio with more. Mike, it was such a great night to be able to say that President Obama was uh, elected to a second term that, to basically go through not only national politics, state politics, we had local politics, we had downtown broadcasting, we had so much, I, I, I think, just great coverage all around and, and the graphics, everything that we had produced and, and to think that, again, we had, were on air for four hours, both on television and radio, the, everything was so succinct, everything came together that night and we had a few glitches, no doubt, but uh, we did, I think, what some networks always strive to do and when we did that here in Clarion. I would say to know that the community turned to us for coverage and to see that they had looked to us for not only news but I mean there was a journalistic integrity that they they knew that we could provide that coverage to them and that's exactly why I wanted to go downtown and do that and that's almost why they give us interviews is there are certain times I think that they understand that we are a worthwhile news outlet and, and it's worth turning to and that means a lot to me working election night coverage and doing four hours of that, you know, kind of unprecedented from anything I've seen or heard from not only this station, but any college station that isn't, you know, Penn State or Ohio State or something like that. So that was, that was probably the biggest thing here and one of the crowning moments of my CUTV slash WCUB career. Well, I, I got started on an upstart show called Face the Campus. I was just an analyst there, realized I was really good at talking for a living. Uh, something that shouldn't have been a surprise to me and uh, got really involved the uh, spring semester, so it'd be spring 2011, and they had an open weather position here, uh, so I auditioned for that and ended up getting it. Really like being able to improv the weather, not really have a script I had to go off of, and really do that, and then it just kind of expanded from there, run crew, got into the sports department, uh, went over to radio, started doing that, hosting a show, calling radio games, so... Uh, it was really just kind of a process of I went as far as basically everyone would let me and uh, that's kind of been the benefit of down here is you know, if you want to do something you're pretty much open to do it and I think that's led me to where I am now. So I've sitting there thinking one day and just kind of thought of them like well who wants to be a millionaire is a fairly popular game, fairly easy to do, um, so why not do music trivia? I'm a fan of the original so I'm going to say ABBA. I like Sweden better than the, I, I, we'll go with Sweden. I like Sweden better than all the other answers. So, so you think they're fun. Sweden? Yeah. Although I totally tried to mislead you and said they were a Swiss band I earlier. Almost, I almost about. did. I almost but did. folks, Matt is right. They are a Swedish band. They are from Sweden. We don't have a whole lot, we didn't have anything music related. So I uh, pitched the idea to the executive board and they said, get us a pilot in two weeks. And uh, April, and that's spring of 2012, or 2011, excuse me. We, uh, we started Change Your Tune and we ran that up until basically this January when uh, we decided to put it to bed finally, but uh, we had a great three season run, so I was really happy with it. I tried out to be an anchor and to my surprise, I was placed on the desk my first semester. So that was really cool for me and I, uh, looking back on, on my first couple of newscasts, it's just insane how terrible I was, but you know, it comes with time, I guess. 
On September 7th, Salem Township Supervisors agreed to find a way in which they can be released from a natural gas lease agreement that was signed last year with DL Energy Group. It was intended to drill for natural gas on township property in Larmentine. I was just really, I really wanted to have a good, a good first newscast. I wanted to make a good first impression, but I mean, it's your first one, so it obviously wasn't my most shining moment, but it was a lot of fun, and it was my first time ever going live with anything, so it's definitely exciting. My freshman year, we started the 48-hour broadcast, and um, it was the first time that the radio and the TV had collaborated, let alone collaborated on such a level where we would simulcast for an entire weekend. A couple of the older students thought it would be cool to pull off their own lift up, and so we decided at the final segment of the 48-hour broadcast, the party hour, and the last five minutes to close it out, we would do uh, a lip dub of semisonic uh, closing time. And we thought there was no better person to lead that than the music director at that time, Chris Campbell. <laughs> and he only knew half the words to the song. He didn't even want to do it. But the fact that, you know, it was that whole family concept and everything, you know, he, he did it for us because we thought he was the perfect candidate. Time for you to go out to the places you will be from. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. Take me Sing it right, you may not sing it well, but you can always change your tune. Change your tune. Change, change your, your tune. tune. Change your tune. Change your tune. Have a good night. will be for the final time it's this week's bottom line bottom line bottom line it's bottom line it's bottom line it's tonight's bottom line the bottom line Woo!